all right guys today i'm back with another video talking about the supply chain crisis how this could possibly lead to more food shortages more empty shelves more shtf also we're going to be talking potentially about the rail worker strike coming up next month if they don't reach some type of permanent agreement let me know what you guys think in the comments about this uh supply chain crisis this backlog do you think it could get worse than we've already seen or do you think things are going to mellow out a little bit let me know in the comments what you guys think. In the country, the port of Los Angeles is once again seeing bottlenecks that could disrupt the supply chain to businesses and consumers nationwide. This time, it's because of a shortage of rail workers. As Carter Evans shows us, the disruptions could eventually be even worse than what we saw at the height of the pandemic. Tis the season for ships packed with holiday gifts to start flooding America's ports. But the containers are already piling up, clogging the docks, waiting for trains to transport cargo across the country. There are about 35,000 containers that are designated for rail on our docks right now. On a normal day, looks more like 9,000 units. L.A. Port Director Gene Soroka is sounding the alarm to prevent another scene like this. How long before we see a backup at sea again? We've probably got another four to six weeks if we do nothing. Over the last three years, railroads have lost 20% of their employees. A lot of that is because they cut their own workforce. Analyst Ben Nolan says it began when they tried to streamline operations with a practice called precision scheduled railroading. When you're hyper efficient, you're ill prepared for unexpected things like pandemics. So where are the bottlenecks right now? The bottlenecks right now are on that last mile. Union Pacific Operations VP Eric Geringer says his railroad has already hired hundreds of new employees. We're handling that volume, resources beyond the railroad. That's where we need to see gains. The rails move containers inland where merchandise is transferred and delivered. But with truck driver shortages and now a glut of goods arriving. The warehouses are full. There's nowhere to to offload the, uh, the goods. And the containers keep coming. Is it going to get any worse? That number continues to grow every day, every week. Would more trains here help? Absolutely, but you have to have somewhere to put the trains when they get to their destination. And none of it will happen without railroad workers who've been working without a contract for two years now with no raises. An emergency team from the White House will offer its recommendations in the next two weeks in hopes of heading off a railroad strike in September. For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans in Los Angeles. So as you can see from that clip, again, we're facing a supply chain crisis, another backlog. We have a truck driver shortage that's been going on for at least a year now where there's just not enough truck drivers to take the product from point A to point B. Then you have the potential rail worker strike. Uh, that may happen sometime next month if an agreement can't be reached. And I believe the rail workers are also short staffed as well. So things are not looking good, guys. Continue to prepare. As I always say, continue to stock up on your food, your water, your supplies. Go ahead and get those things right now while you can still get them and while you can still relatively afford those things, guys. But until next time, keep prepping and as always, be blessed.